Hi, this is my fifth journal entry in this visual journal and today I'm going to talk about storytelling. So I just got back from uh, my observation at Reynolds School. It's November the 8th and um, I was in the Flex Studies program and for those of you who don't know what Flex is, it's a, it's a flexible studies program and it's a um, a program that students from grades 10 to 12 can sign up for and they um, they come three times a week for half of the day um, for the whole afternoon and it continues on for an entire year so it's a pretty big time commitment and it's an inquiry based uh, program where three teachers guide students through an inquiry project um, and then they get a whole bunch of credits for it like English and math and careers and geography, I think, um, social studies. So I was spending the afternoon in that class and there was a guest speaker who came in named Kenthan Thomas from the Soekmek First Nation from the interior. And he came in to do a workshop on storytelling. And what he did was he started the workshop by dressing up in his traditional storytelling garb. And he told a story from his nation to the students. Um, and they were completely enthralled, which was pretty amazing. And then he used the, that story to talk about Indigenous knowledge and what's appropriate and not appropriate to do when using Indigenous knowledge in pedagogy. Um, and then he introduced the idea of, or the concept of petroglyphs, which is a form of communication that his nation used to use um, thousands of years ago to communicate to each other which was writing stories on rocks in really simple, with really simple symbols. Um, and uh, yeah, they would use those to like communicate trade routes or even just stories with morals. Um, and so their culture wasn't totally oral. And then he got students, so he shared a petroglyph story that he had created himself, his, himself with students and then he got them to create their own stories, so they all got into groups and um, created stories together and then wrote them out in petroglyphs, and um, I got to do it too, which was really fun, and students were, during this time, they were like, you could look around the room and see them like laughing together and like acting out scenes and writing down ideas and like just really working collaboratively in a multimodal way to... Um, work out their stories and how they would tell them and how they would portray them using these symbols um, And it was really beautiful and then they all all of the groups at the end presented their stories to the class and told them told the stories orally Following along with the symbols and it was really beautiful and there were even some tears because the stories were really touching to a lot of the students um, and uh, yeah, so it was an amazing class and I just wanted, I was thinking about it afterwards and thinking about all of the storytelling that we've been learning about in multiliteracies and how um, this uh, Kenthal Thomas's workshop on petroglyphs really relates to a lot of the storytelling readings that we did. So some of the examples that I was thinking about were Toby Emmerich's Transpoemations um, article about African and Asian refugee boys who came to southwestern USA and um, were struggling to integrate into American culture and created stories, digital stories about their um, about their trips across and how that really helped them like create a voice for themselves and become more confident and also learn language skills. And then John Wargo's Sounding Out My Silence about the lesbian teenager girl who dropped out of school because she wasn't feeling heard and how she was able to also find her voice through um, sonic cartography and which is a really beautiful story. And also Katie Paul and Jennifer Roswell's Artif Artifactual Critical Literacy, which is about marginalized people telling their stories um, through focus on everyday objects. Um, and there is many more, like we, we did a lot of readings about storytelling and I essentially I kind of feel like that's what most of the course was about. Um, and yeah, so Kenneth Kenthal Thomas brought storytelling to the kids in the flex class in a, 
in a way that was multimodal um, because they had to engage with each other and create these stories and then tell them using symbols, um, which I thought was really beautiful and another way to bring voices and light to people's individual stories. So that's that. That's it. And I just wanted to show you my petroglyph story of everything that I just said. So these, this is the flex class. This is Kenthal Thomas coming in and telling his story to the students. These are the students in groups creating all of their own stories. And then these are the students presenting their story, their petroglyph stories to each other. And then this is how it relates to multiliteracies, where there's somebody who feels as though they don't have a voice, and then they're able to tell their story, and it makes them feel better. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much.